Okay, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Hugh Sung. I'm an assistant of the Oral History Program on board the battleship New Jersey, docked here in Camden, New Jersey. And today is Friday, July 20th, 2018. We're on board the battleship New Jersey. And our interview guest is uh, Frank T. Monera from Mays Landing, New Jersey. Uh, Frank uh, Monera is a veteran of World War II and served on the uh, light carrier USS Langley, CVL-27, uh, and he was a fireman third class on board uh, that ship. And we are joined by his family today, and assisting us is uh, his granddaughter, uh, Leanne Shugart. Uh, well, uh, Mr. Amanera, uh, welcome aboard the battleship New Jersey. Welcome aboard. Yeah. Okay. In the back there, there's a, a schedule. Okay. That, that, in other words, may... Yeah, we'll get to that. Uh, so, uh, what's your current age, Mr. Amanera? How old are you? Mm. How old are you? Uh, what? How old are you? How old am I now? Yeah. Well, right now I am. Ninety, ninety-two, going on ninety-three. Okay. And uh, when did you count the year? You know. Okay. And uh, when did you enlist in the Navy? When did you enlist in the Navy? When did you enlist in the Navy? When did I enlist in yes. the Navy? Yes. What year? The year I enlisted. Well, I enlisted in Langley City, and it had to be. Uh, well, Pearl Harbor and the Mount because my buddies were all gone and I changed my birth certificate. And what year would that have been? Well, I guess that had to be, uh, I was 16. 1943? Uh, I would say two. Mm -hmm. Okay. Two. No, 40. Okay, so you joined in um, 1942 at age 16, correct? You know, if you could come a little closer, I think I... Uh, uh, you joined uh, in 1942 at age 16, correct? Yes. Okay. All right, and um, what was your inspiration to join the Navy? Why did you want to join the Navy? Why did I want to... <laughs> My buddy... <laughs> were all gone. They were all gone, so I changed my birth certificate to, to get in. And like I say, I uh, that had to be uh, Pearl Harbor was uh, uh, 42, 43. Yep, that happened December of 1941, so uh, went on to 1942 shortly after that. Uh, so, where did you go to boot camp? Where did you go to boot camp? Where did, uh, Samson, New York. Samson, New York? Okay. Yeah. Anything you remember from and boot camp? Geneva, well, and what do you remember from boot camp? Huh? What do you remember from boot camp? What do I remember from boot camp? Yeah. Well, it was cold. It was cold and we had a lot of, a lot of marching, but most of them on marching was done inside. But too cold, and uh, we would go down to Hudson on a ferry. In fact, at one time we went into West Point. What a rain! We couldn't even get it. it poured so bad, <laughs> we got flooded. But, uh, we went down that Lehigh Valley, and, and uh, that's where all the rich people were at that time. Mm -hmm. Anything else you remember? Huh? Is there anything else you remember about boot camp? Anything about else? Boot camp? Well, I had a buddy that was assigned to the New Jersey. But, uh, yeah, well, to the uh, to New Jersey, and then Philadelphia had the. Uh, the battleship here. Oh, yeah, the commissioning ceremony. Yeah. And that, so that had to be uh, uh, the end of 
42, going into 43. Yes, the battleship was commissioned in May 1943, so it was early in 43. Yeah. Uh, because so, the, in, in the back of that book there, there's a, like a schedule there that one day we launched, the, well, we were, I was in the fire room, but where we had to do is make sure the boilers stayed without hitting the safety. In other words, they would notify us that they were going ahead and we would either take a burner out or put a burner, whatever it required. And then, like I say, we we did work up on the, the water, uh, even in the boiler, the water boiler, and there I was even in the, 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 the boiler down in the fire room. What a mess, all that carbon. It, was, it wasn't a pleasant thing. All right, so uh, let's backtrack a little bit. Uh, short, shortly after boot camp, uh, where did you go for your training? After boot camp, where did you go? After boot camp, where did you go for your training? Where did I go for your training after boot camp? Well, after boot camp, uh, like I said, I went to uh, they kind of back door uh, it was in the Pearl Harbor. That's where you went after boot camp. Uh, for training for your um, firemen. Where did you go? Where did you go for training for your fire? Where did you go for training after boot camp? At the boot camp. Yeah, after boot camp, where did you go for training? Well, I did the the training there in uh, Samson, New York, Geneva. What Geneva? Geneva. Okay. Uh, remember what state that was in? Do you know what state Geneva was in? Huh? What state was Geneva in? What state? What state? Mm -hmm. Well, the line was in New Jersey and the battleship was in Philadelphia. Okay. And they were being, I got notes where we shake down crews together in the Atlantic. In fact, they said they had something. But, but then, uh, like I said, the, the, the Enterprise scraped her side a little bit. She was supposed to go on through, and instead she went in to be repaired, and we took over her duty. We went into San Diego, picked up the 21st, picked up CBs, Marines, and God knows what else, and off we went. And like I say, every day, we had to defend ourselves because they were coming, the Japs were right at our doorstep. And that's why they, they built the Langley, which we needed aircraft carrier. We needed air support. And that, that's the point. Okay. All right. Uh, so let's back up uh, when you first got on board the Langley. Uh, you said that was in Philadelphia, correct? When you first got on board the Langley, that was in, in Philadelphia? Uh, when I got on her, uh, I guess it was, yeah, because I was shipped, yeah, I was shipped uh, to New Jersey, and I could say I used to cross the bay there, the, the ships were on the inside, they were being built at the same time, they were both being built at the uh, same yes. time. Yes, the Langley was built here in Camden and New Jersey and Philadelphia. Uh, before we continue, you don't mind me asking, me to, asking you to move your hat? Take your hat off. Take the hat off? Yes. All right. That's better so we can see your face better. Okay. So um, you got on the Langley and that was in Philadelphia. And uh, you went out to sea after that, correct? After you got on the Langley in Philadelphia, you went out to sea? When I got off the Langley, yeah. When you got okay. on the Langley, where did you head after? Where did you head out? After the Langley? When you got on the Langley, yeah. where did you go? Where did I go? Yeah, where did the ship sail? Where did I sail? Well, I said that we went through 
and the enterprise damages Val, and they were supposed to go through and, and, and stay Christmas over the holiday. Instead, we, we took over their duty, and we took over their duty, so we went into uh, uh, San Diego. We left there on the 21st, and we got into Pearl Harbor Christmas morning. Okay. So this is Christmas in 1943? Christmas 1943. It had to be. Okay. Yeah. Now, did you remember the ship going through the Panama Canal? Do you remember when the USS Langley went through the Panama Canal? When we went through the Panama Canal? Do you remember that? Well, yeah, yeah. Like I said, the, the Enterprise damaged itself and uh, we took over her duty. And uh, like I say, uh, we had to get whatever she was supposed to do. And we were lucky, like I said, we needed air support. Okay. So, uh, and because every okay. day they were on our tail. And, and we needed a place, we were operating out of Pearl Harbor okay. with our planes and stuff. But then finally, because every day we were under attack, and finally we, we got a hold on the, the, the Marshall Island there, and we started in there. And like I said, we started picking up, and every day they were on our tail, they were, they were attacking us. Okay, so uh, your first uh, combat experience was at the Marshall Islands, correct? Your first combat experience was that at the Marshall Islands? Yeah, was at the Marshall Islands. Okay, uh, you were in the boiler rooms during that time? And were you in the boiler room during that time? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. That's why I say, I, I, I think it was almost a year because it, I didn't like it down there, but like I say, the captain, he turned around, they they would give you, a, in other words, we had to watch the, the burners and stuff like that, you, they would kind of warn you, and don't you blow safety, if you did, they, they blowed right up the captain's butt, <laughs> so, so he didn't like that. Uh, okay, now afterwards, uh, did you participate in the Philippines campaign? Did you participate in the Philippines campaign? In the, the Philippines campaign. Oh yeah, the, the Philippines. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, uh, we started them. In fact, our, in that book there's a picture of our captain Dylan. Captain Dylan was our first captain there. Right. Now, uh, during that battle, uh, three Japanese aircraft carriers sank. Do you remember the news about that? During that campaign. Uh, there, during the Battle of Philippine Sea, which was June 1944, three Japanese carriers sank. Do you uh, remember when three Japanese carriers sank? What? The three Japanese carriers sank. Do you remember that? When they, when they sank. The three Japanese carriers. Do you remember when they sank? When they, when they sank? Yeah. Langley? No, the three Japanese carriers. Uh, uh, during the Battle of Philippine Sea. The three like. Japanese carrier were, we, we went two days to catch up to them, and they were in the China Sea. In fact, we, we went in there, they had battleships, they had 300 planes. Our guys had a field day there. They really had a field day. And I got news for it. We got the lane. We had them. Like I say, we in the fire room, you had to listen to the, the chief petty officer. And he would, like I say, he would kind of tell you, well, you're going to up the speed. And that gave you the warning that you had to watch your boiler and make sure that you didn't blow safety. Because if you did, the captain knew about it and he, 
He didn't like it. Okay. And I could say when a plane come in, if they missed it, the, the cable, they would run into the high in there. And if they got damaged, if we could salvage parts off of the pine, if not, we had the time we would turn around, put them on a sling, swing them over the side, and drop them in the water. Now, I was told that uh, your ship was hit, correct? He was told that your ship was hit, is that correct? Our sh oh, yeah, we were, we were hit coming out of China, too. Yeah. Tinny Ann, we Saipan, Tinny Ann, up through there. So you said yeah, you were hitting the China Sea? You were hitting the China Sea? Hmm? You were in the China Sea when you were hit? I was what? The USS Langley was hit in the China Sea? Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, you remember, like, uh, was that during late Coming out of the China Sea. Because we had, we had one in there after all. They, you think Pearl Harbor had it. You should have seen the ships that they had in there. Uh, they, like I say, they were really, uh, in fact, in that book, there's a schedule in there that shows you. And how much damage to the Langley when it was hit? Huh? How much damage was there to the ship when it was hit? Well, it put a hole in it, three decks deep. A few fellows were killed. And like I say, uh, what did we did, we left the... Uh, the 21st got into Pearl Harbor Christmas morning. Okay. Uh, was this uh, Christmas 1944? Was it? Was that Christmas 1944? Uh, 45. Huh. Yeah, and did you? Did you? Feel what when the torpedo hit? Did you feel what did you feel? Could you? Well, I was down in the fire, line. and like I say, yeah, we we were given warning. In other words, we're, but was it loud? Well, the thing that scared me down there is their hatches. They had a little cubby hole, and we had a cheap petty hole. He was big. And if you had to go through that cubby hole, you didn't make it. You had to hit the door open wide open. Oh. Uh, anything else you remember uh, during those um, incidents? Is there anything else that you remember during those incidents when, the, when your ship was hit? Well, when she was hit, like I said, I was down in the thing. We we knew we were hit. You could feel a vibration there. And like I said, not only that, we were given warning because we had to keep up. We had to keep up the speed, either up or down. And like I said, if we crashed, if we could salvage the plane, we did. But if we didn't have time to do that, we would swing her overboard and ditch her. Now, do you remember the other campaigns the ship participated in, like uh, Iwo Jima or Okinawa? Do you remember the campaigns of Iwo Jima or Okinawa? Okinawa? Mm -hmm. Yeah. How he wants to know. Yeah. Anything you remember from them? What do you remember from them? About Open Hour? Mm -hmm. That, what's the name? My, my book had the schedule of all the lines and stuff here. And it gives you the Open Hour, Iwo Jima, uh, all in Ireland there came in and play. And what do you remember about that? Well, like I said, if, 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 we, if that plane would have been closer when it dropped the bomb, there was a, 
that was when they ended up, there was a plane on a caterpillar, and that had two 500 pound bombs. If that thing would have stepped that off, it would have probably blown the ship. It would have thumped it. Who would have thumped it? But that's what I'm saying. We had people there that were on top of things, and that they would give it as much warning as they could, so you know which way you were going. And then, like I say, well, when we were in port, we finally got established in a harbor there. I done. That was dirty. Cleaning the boiler, cleaning the water tanks, and going inside the boiler was not nice. We had a car in there, breathing was terrible. Get in there and scrape the tube. Uh, do you remember being out on the decks at any time? Do you remember about being out on the decks at any time? Well, yeah, I was on the, on the deck here. When, when they transferred me, I went to the hangar deck and then the next thing you know, I was up on a flight deck because the, the, the planes, the pilots, when they got in the plane, we would make sure that they were strapped in and stuff like that. And at one time, we had cables, but then they, uh, I mean, they had, they had to tie them down. Then they turned around, they'd come out with an invention, but they had one of these trucks in them. They put a thing in it, crank them, and they take up one on each wheel. But at one time, we had to put, well, two in the back, one on each side in the front, and we had to get up there before daylight and get those things untied, secured, so that they could get off the. Because, like I say, when they had, when it was time to launch, they were ready to go. Uh, uh, do you remember anything when Okinawa was declared secure? Do you remember anything when Okinawa was declared secure? When Okinawa was declared secure, yeah, when they dropped the A-bomb. And what about that? What do you, huh? what do you remember about that? Well, when they dropped the A bomb, like I say, that had to be. A bomb probably dropped. Hmm. That was August 6th. Huh? The A bomb was dropped on August the 6th. Do you remember anything about that? August. August. It would have been where were you when the A bomb was dropped? Do you remember I, where you were? Yeah, I think that was the hangar deck flight deck. You're on the flight deck, and yeah, right. either one. Right. Remember, do you remember how the news got to you? Do you remember how the news got to you that they dropped the bomb? What? Do you remember how the news got to you that they dropped the bomb? Oh yeah, we knew they did. They dropped the bomb. And how did you find out? How did I find out? Vibration. The vibration. So you yeah. felt the vibration? Yeah. The vibration, and like I said, they, uh, they were on our tail all the time here. Were you notified? That, huh? Were you notified? Well, you didn't have to be notified, but they, they tell you. In other words, if, if they they would turn around and tell you that we're slowing down, and we had to watch the the, the, the chart, and they kind of gave you the thing there, you know, up or down, but we were there, 
I think we got the load to leave. In other words, we did uh, the other plane, they got it there, yeah, but we did, they did it ahead. And then we had the fella get repaired with this funny. I was in the I was in Virginia and I went through the world to in the air and here the guy was telling me he was on a repair ship in the Pacific. And I mentioned the Langley. He said, oh, he said, I worked and repaired on her. He worked on her and repaired when she, uh, she had her hand. Yeah. But there was always, I'd say there was always something to do there. You had up on the second deck here is where the boiler was. You had your blowers up in there. We had to serve the standard. All that stuff had to be serviced. And like I say, vibration, but as far as it was scary, especially when you got a big boy. Uh, do you remember uh, the announcement of Japan's surrender? Do you remember the announcement of Japan's surrender? Japan surrender. Yeah, do you remember when they announced that, that Japan had yeah, surrendered? Yeah, let, let me give it a quote there. They, they surrender. It had to be around July. Uh, they, they announced surrender August 15th. Uh, but do you remember the news getting to you and the sentiment of the crew? Do you remember how you and the crew felt about it when you heard that Japan had surrendered? Well, oh, yeah, how did they? Well, how did we, you guys feel? We were, we were happy, I could tell you. But the, we had our hands full. We could, like I said, every morning we we had our job. We had to get out there, especially before the cables come out. We had to tie down all this and that there. And they had to be ready to take off as soon as they, they got daylight because they were on our tail. They were on our tail. Okay. Uh, now, just backtracking to your time in the Langley, do you remember any typhoons or storms? That yeah, typhoon? Yeah, when you were on the Langley, do you remember any typhoons or storms that you encountered? We went through. Uh, Typhoons. In fact, we went through one type um, where the Japs, it was rough. The Japs surface and the Langley were there, and we couldn't fire on each other because they were up and down, up and down. We couldn't get a shot at each other. And that had to be, uh, I don't like to tell you, Toward the end of the war, which I could say everything came to an end in 40, 45. It, uh, in fact, it, uh, December 5th, 6th, and 45, I would discharge out of the, the Navy. Oh, and that was in, in, in 50. Uh, now, just backtracking, uh, and stepping outside of the uh, war zone and going to America's popular culture, uh, do you remember any uh, entertainment like the USO shows? Do you remember any of the American so shows? American what? So shows? Like, the USO. Oh, like, the, <laughs> the, USF, the USO shows. Like entertainment coming. The entertainment. Entertainment? Yeah. Well, we used to get entertainment when we were in the harbor. What kind Once of entertainment we, did you get? Huh? What kind? Well, we had the USO. They would come in the air. And what kind of entertainment would they have? Yeah, but we didn't get much. Okay. We didn't get much entertainment. Do you remember Bob Hope by any chance? Did you ever see Bob Hope perform? Bob Hope? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And what was that like? What did he do? With a bunch of guys, you know what I mean? They, they come in there. A lot of security around. Uh, Bob Hope. 
Any other names? Now you said the ship went through the Panama Canal. Uh, do you remember uh, what the clearance was on each side? When you went through the Panama Canal, do you remember what the clearance was on both sides? What the clearance was? Yeah. <laughs> I know it was close. It was close to the Intrepid, but we kind of went through, we squeezed through. In fact, the one time, we went through a couple times, but one time, they have a, a schedule there. In other words, if you go into the canal and, and anchor there, you have to wait till they change the thing here. So we would stay outside and we launched the ships in, in there because they had the stores and different things in there. In fact, some of the guys went over and took it and went over to the Atlantic. Uh, they would go in Desperado, but we did we did that a whole time. In fact, I have it in in that one that book there. It shows you all them little carriers where they they blindly mainly. That was that, and someone said, "Oh, yeah, it was in the third. The third one." was later years that they built that. It probably could be a big one. But it wasn't built during our time. Okay. All right, uh, do you remember any crossing the equator uh, ceremonies? Do you remember any crossing the equator ceremonies? Oh, yeah. Huh. You can. <laughs> they shave your head off. Then they turn around and line you sides on each side of the hangar that year. And then you had these guys with these belly, belly things here. And as you went by, they, they just were rocking you. They were really, uh, yeah. It wasn't, uh, I could say, it wasn't uh, a nice thing. And like I say, that we had, one of the things we had to make sure that we had water injector in the, the, the plane here because if you were being attacked and you needed that extra little push, it would give it that water injector and that would give it to you. Yeah, that would give you that extra push that you needed. But there's pictures in there showing the line we where the guys are looking down in the hole and all that stuff there. And like I said, Pearl Harbor was one thing, but uh, that even Jane the China Sea, we would, we even went into uh, uh, Japan, all the islands here. We had a field day in there, but like I say, uh, we didn't do as well as the other planes, but we did all right. Okay. Uh, so other than um, Pearl Harbor, do you remember any ports pull you pulled into? Other than Pearl Harbor, do you remember any other ports that you pulled into? Well, went into uh, Virginia Beach. I went to, when I first went in, they, but I couldn't, uh, they sent me to gunnery school down in Virginia. And it was quad 40s. And up with the quad 40, they would hand them up to you and you drop them in the barrel. No way. The thing you know, it was rocking me. And I, I couldn't. So, like I said, they, they took me out of here. But I, uh, like I say, I did all of my life. We, we did, did 
we had three year groups. And like I could say we, we, we had a report on the picture show one, two, three, what, the, what each group did, how many playing, this and that. They had a, they had a record of it there. They had a record of it there. Okay. Uh, do you remember any ports in the Pacific, like Ulithi? Do you remember any ports in the Pacific, like the Ulithi? Yeah, we what? Do you remember any ports in the Pacific that you stopped at, like the Ulithi? Ulithi? Yeah, yeah, Ulithi. It's all, sometimes called Mog Mog Island. It's sometimes called Mog Mog Island? Do you, yeah, do you remember any ports that you stopped no, no, no. I, I looked at what's in the, in the North Pacific here. Yeah, where did you stop in the North Pacific? What? That was in the North Pacific, but we were South Pacific. We were strictly South Pacific. Okay. Yeah. Good. In fact, the, the old Langley, they turned around, and the one in the Pacific, uh, Atlantic, they turned around, they put a flat deck on her, and they put planes on her, and I got news for you. She, she got, she's, Got to come, yeah. got to come. So that was the end of her. But then that was the only Langley except the one that they built in later years. We were the only Langley available. Oh, okay. And we, like I could say, we hit all them ports from Annapolis, West Point, you name it, we've been there. Okay. General MacArthur. In fact, we were in MacArthur when he left the Philippines. Okay. Did you ever see General MacArthur? Did you ever see General MacArthur? Did I see General MacArthur? You know, it's funny. I actually don't see him, but I... They... Mm. I'm trying to think now. He... He was available, you know what I mean? He, he kind of, he kind of did the, 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 the hanger that year. No. Okay. Uh, what can you talk about uh, as you left the Navy? Like, do you remember leaving the Navy? Do you remember when you left the Navy? When I left what? The Navy. I left the Navy December, well, I got discharged out of the, the Navy December the 5th in 45. Okay. Anything you remember uh, when you left the Navy? Is there anything that you remember when you left the Navy? No, I remember. Well, like, what happened? What happened? They shipped me back to Philadelphia, and that was it. I just okay. wander here, there, mechanic work. And like I said, she was scrapped here to, in Baltimore. Uh, how, how do you feel when you heard she was scrapped? How did you feel when you well, heard that she was scrapped? Well, the only thing, they, they had notified us, which you could see the deck here, the wooden deck they were selling. In other words, if you wanted a plank, they had to pay for it. And how did you feel about when you heard that it was scrap? Um, I didn't get one, but I mean, I was entitled to one, but I, I figured, eh, I mean, uh, you can see the way the deck is now. I mean, uh, it's terrible. Okay. And our, like I say, our, our flight deck I mean, wasn't too bad. All right, so how does it feel like being on board the Battleship New Jersey? How do you feel about being on the Battleship New Jersey? How do you feel about being here today? Oh, it's great. Yeah. But I don't even get to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
So I can only get to her. That's right. But they're waiting on me, and I'm like I say, I I would have liked to uh, went right with that kind of thought that I would get right to the door. Right. So how does this feel compare with the uh, Langley? So how does this ship feel compared to the Langley? This ship? Yeah, the one that we're on today. How does it compare? Is it bigger, smaller? Oh, it is. There's no question about it. It's a good, it's a good battleship. She was over in Philly, and the line being was in New Jersey. And we used to crisscross each other. And like I said, we would kind of walk near each other there. At that time, I don't know how it is now, but uh, we, like I say, we had a field day in there. We had the uh, planes and... Is the this ship bigger than the USS Langley? Huh? The ship that we're on today is... Oh, the this, this, is, this is the battleship. Oh, yeah, this is way bigger. This is way bigger. In fact, like I say, this this ship here, she's running, and they fired a torpedo at it. One of the ships, the battleship, had to intervene and take it. They had to intervene and take it because they could take it. And, but like I say, they they, they got that blister there. It's, they had oil in there, but the oil's out of there, they put water in there. So they, they keep it balanced pretty good there. And like they say, they were on our tail in 43. They were on our tail all the time there. Like they say, tying the put well, tying the plane down and all that. Even in the board, like I say, we were given warrants, but it, uh, it depends on you know. Right. Uh, because we, we were we were told when we were in the China Sea, it showed where the bomb went down in there. We even had a guy walk in the dark, and the door was open. He went down three decks and he never made it. Right. He went down to the, to the bottom and that didn't happen. But we had a fire aboard that the, the line we were fueling the ship and a little spark here, like I say, set it off. I got it out quickly. Like they say, we did have a fire in the air. Okay, so there was an accident on board when you were refueling, correct? So there was an accident on board while you were fueling? There was an accident on board while you were fueling? A fire? Yeah, we had a fire here. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we had a fire. And like they say, they, they quickly shut the pump down and they, they, they got the fire out. Okay. And guys with the extinguishers and you know, the chads that it was available, they had out there. And like I said, if they had time, if they missed the cable, they hit the barrier. Hit the barrier, if they had time to scrap it, fine. If not, they swung her outside and dropped her in the Okay. And that was all, and like I think, in the China Sea, we were, we were up in the air. Like I say, one day, we really, uh, we were busy. Okay, uh, looking back at your it time, took, it, took, it, okay. it took us four days to leave yes. there to get to San Diego the 21st, and that's when we, uh, 
with the Pickett School Day. That's when they got their pro argument. Okay. Anything else like to add? Is there anything else that you would like to add about your experience? Is there anything else that you would like to add or tell them? Anything else about your time on the land that you would like to share? Anything you would like to talk about? Uh, different things. I could say working in the boiler room, working in the, in the, in the the water tender, the top there, we had the blowers up there, we had to go up there, change the oil, serve the stem. I mean, we, we, we had work to do. Okay. Um, is there anything like to talk about uh, your post Navy life? Is there any impact the Navy had on your life? After you got out of the Navy, what, the, what impact would you say that the Navy had on your life after? After the Navy? Yeah, how did, it, how did it impact your life? Well, after the Navy, I went here, I went there, and the next thing you know, I wound up with the city of Burgettown. Yeah. I did that, and I was doing repair work and whatever. Yeah. And, and finally, like I said, you had I was interviewed for the, for the Langley uh, a couple times. In fact, at one time I went in there and the girl, which she figured a couple times, but when I, I showed her the literature and different things, she said, you don't have to come back. She said, you gave it all I wanted to know. And that was it. But I tinkered around here, there. Okay, is there, you have some images to show us? You have some pictures you'd like to show them? Huh? You have some pictures you would like to show? Yeah. Did it, uh, did it. Oh. Okay. These are the white carriers. This, this shows you two carriers here. And in fact, there's one that shows the carrier, two carriers here. But then there's one that shows the battleship. See, now here's the, that's the, that's the battleship there. Turn around so they can see, Pop. Turn around and see the camera. The camera can see. Yeah, Hold it up. Hold it up and then see this. Yeah, I'm just going to zoom into it for a little bit. Don't mind us. Now, what's, what's this? That's going to be one of our light decks. Okay, then turn around so the camera. Well, usually see. it'll tell you on the, the thing here. It'll give you in here. Now, here, look at this. Okay, just like that. Camera wants A little better shape than it is now. And like I said, they wanted to sell it. Now here it is. See if I can make it out. Same with the carrier here. And like I say, this here is mass. Okay. So that was mass on board? The mass on board. Huh? This is the mass on board. Yeah, we have mass. Okay. Uh, you don't mind just holding it up? Yeah, just so you can get a good look at it. Okay. 
thing that yeah, happens. Good. It tells you each shit. All right, and uh, this photograph. Oh, it's this one. This now is, here, this group. Here, the, it'll tell you which one of the dark hour, but all the plane were in the air. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were. Okay, I'm just trying to zoom into it. And that's, uh, that's you. That was me. <laughs> that's very good. See, now this is the patine. I can read the cabinet. Pop, which book are you in? And it, huh? You're in one of these books. Yeah. Which is it? Uh, one of the. One of the the patine, the cabin, the all took your shit. Yeah, you were took 9 to be up 27. And it gives you little bits about that. And like I say, the deck is a little better than it is now. Okay, so there's. Fire yeah. on the yeah that okay. that was a fire it up. yeah that's when we took the hit okay so I zoom into it all right got it. Okay, and that's the language? Yeah. Okay. Action. That's it. This is, it, was, it said it's taking a deep roll. Okay, so that was during the typhoon, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have not been a generation. Okay. This is the line here. Okay, papers. All right. Okay, you read the thing and explain you know, the year and everything about it. It's more like, like the thing. Uh, this is when the Langley was being launched. I don't know if you want to. That's right. Sure. Like, that was that New York shipbuilding. Yeah. yeah, I don't know whether that's the line in the year. I don't know, that's the. Yeah. 
happened was plane trailing them. Okay. Mm. Yeah. See somebody hitting the deck. Okay, so Mr. Monero, uh, we're about to get to the close of our interview. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to add? Uh, is there anything else that you would like to add? The interviews, we're wrapping it up. Is there anything else you would like to add? While I was in the Navy? Yeah, about your experience in the Navy, your time in the Navy. Mm -hmm. What could say is we had some entertainment, but it wasn't nothing to get excited about. Okay. Uh, Leanne, is there anything you like to add? Say we did. No? Okay. We did do different harbors and stuff like that. Uh, okay. Uh, so I do have one concluding question yeah, if you have nothing right. else to add. We have one last question. This is the independent deal. Uh, uh, feel free to speak. Um, I just have one concluding question when you're done. Think you're done? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, this interview is going to be available for researchers um, or reporters or anybody who can be uh, watching this or listening to this. It could be like 25, 50 years from now. So as a legacy, is there anything you'd like to uh, add to leave a message to any future um, researchers or historians? Is there any message that you would like to um, give to any uh, researchers or historians about the war that might look at this tape of you 25, 30 years from now? Is there anything, what would you like them well, to know? The only thing I can tell you, we covered the whole South Pacific. Everything. And like I say, once we got old, we had, we had our hands full because they were on our tail all the time. We had to get our planes ready. And like I tell you, with us, we were, I was tending the border, and we would be, they would notify, we had a gauge up in the wall there. And we had to keep an eye on them, but they kind of wound it up and down, and you gotta keep, because if you did blow safety, the captain, uh, he didn't, I didn't hate him like that. Okay. 